In this video, we're going to just go through the appealable grounds for the Copa v. Wright case, okay? And I'm going to just, just point out the very specific part, so stay tuned for that. I'm also going to address uh, uh, the some of the comments and the responses that I got from the short that I put out yesterday where I... Uh, where I kind of, uh, I, I titled it, and I'm just going to, how I titled it, and I'm just going to address that, all right? So, this is Gavin Mail coming at you right now. So, apparently, uh, according to the internet, you know, I'm, I'm now funded by Dr. Wright. Uh, this is a rumor, and apparently that, uh, you know, there's all sorts of contention now that uh, anyone, let's see, I mean, let's see, nailed it, you're sending out Anything against him? Of course. Oh, I'm very gullible. I'm a gri uh, Gavin's a grifter. He's gullible, and he's the perfect mark. It's funny how he came on the scene. He's he's just this. anyways. It's just a lot of funny things coming out right now. I think it's great. The whole point about the the short that I put out yesterday was to just basically get it out there and, and make it into the discussion point um, in, in in people's mind. Get it in mind uh, about these about this appealable ground because it's super. Something that, that needs to be addressed. Let me just break it down. Well, first of all, um, you know, I have no, no right to call a doctor right out and ask him to come out. So that's not my intent at all. You know, that was a, that was a clickbait title, okay? You know, I'm guilty. Guilty of that. And it, and it obviously worked. It triggered a lot of people. Um, you know, I, I'm well aware that Dr. Wright is not allowed to speak out publicly at this point. So respectfully to him, he's not going to do that, obviously. Uh, but I, I just, I feel like after talking to a bunch of people, that was the um, the contention that a lot of people in the community have right now is they would like to hear from him. And so when the time is right and he's ready to, then I will give him, I'd like to give him a platform so he can, uh, he can uh, explore these ideas whenever he's allowed to legally. Now here's the ground, the most important part. Aside from all the drama, get all, all the drama out of the way. This is the important part. Paragraph 414. In the judgment itself, it goes into the portion that talks about how Dr. Wright's various allegations that forged documents were planted. Now this references earlier parts of the judgment from uh, from uh, Judge Justice Miller. But if you look here at 414, and then he goes into 415, and then 415.1.1, and he goes extensively through it. This is where the potential judicial error is occurred because uh, Justice Miller respectfully has, has said that there, it is a conspiracy theory that, uh, that Dr. Wright is claiming uh, Edgar Hansen had implanted documents into his case. That's a conspiracy theory. Well, that's not a conspiracy theory. Okay, that's where the judicial error comes in because... There is a separate judgment against Edgar Hansen that came out prior to this ruling. All right. That right there supports paragraph 414 as what's called a judicial error. All right. That's a judicial error. Uh, it's a reversible error. Reversible error is probably the better grounds. So my point is, is that, uh, you know, is that clearly in the past uh, there were some somehow this, uh, there was advice from Edgar Hansen that Edgar Hansen was apparently uh, involved in this case and, and hiring a, a law firm and getting the the way I understand that, of course, and I'm and I'm not uh, I'm not on the inside of this case, so I have no inside information. This is just how I'm reading it as an outside, literally as just an outside uh, reporter on this from freaking California, nowhere near this. All right, so please take it for entertainment purposes only. But the way I'm seeing it as that and from that perspective is is that. Mr. Edgar Hansen was uh, brought into the case uh, at, at some point to then hire a law firm. That law firm was in charge of bringing up the, uh, the expert witness and rebuttal evidence to Mr. Madden. Okay, that's one of the things that they were, the, they were in charge of hiring the, the Madden report uh, and then also potentially having access to files. That's at least the claim. That's not new. This is not a new allegation. This is... I'm saying directly in the judgment, paragraph 414 and onward, and it also references much earlier parts in the judgment. That's supported. So that's where the reversible error comes in. Okay, so that's, uh, that's important. I don't know if, it's, uh, if the right side uh, attorneys are going to watch this or not, but, you know, it would, be, um, it would be, I encourage them, hopefully that they can tune in and focus on this if they're going to be writing this appeal because at any moment now, the Justice Miller final judgment is going to come out.
and when it comes out, then, uh, you know, that sucker, that appeal is timely. So I don't know, I think it's 14 days. It's like a hot potato. You got you to gotta get it done. And that doesn't mean they got to write the whole appeal in 14 days. It's uh, probably just a notice of appeal. And then you go after a notice of appeal, then the brief's going to be due like a month later. And then the other side's going to respond to it. And here we go. They're going to go back into a paperwork, uh, kind of a juggling match, tennis match of paperwork back and forth. And that's how appeals are. Appeal, appeal judges must have the, they just must love to read long 250 page thousands of pages of documents because that's ultimately what this comes down to it's just going to be this paper match between the sides and then people on the outside like me we get to if we get to see it we can read the paper and hopefully interpret it you know see how we we, we do it from a freaking non-lawyer's perspective and to clear things up i am not an attorney you don't know why people keep saying that i'm definitely not you know i'm a non-lawyer you know so <laughs> all right so yeah, I'm, i really am excited that this uh, the short got the message across as people drawing people's attention to it. That was the idea, and and hopefully getting the getting Doctor Wright to direct his counsels or whoever's uh, the, uh, running the legal strategy on the right side to say, look, look at this. Wow, it's right here, paragraph four fourteen. It does say, it does say that uh, Mr. Egger Hansen, he did claim that Mr. Egger Hansen planted those documents. He did claim that. Okay, yeah. And now there's a judgment, and there was a judgment to support that. So that's that's a serious, that's a serious reversible error right there, because that judgment it was issued before the uh, it was issued before. The, let me pull it up. Yeah, so the Egger Hansen judgment it says was uh, 3 five twenty twenty four. So apparently it was before the trial even was was done, and then the hear, there was hearing dates on May third. It was approved. The judgment was handed down 3rd of May, 2024. And the, and the right judgment in COPA was on 20th of May. So 17 days before. Now, th that's, that's going to be the hard part is how that attorney is going to argue that, that, that that judgment is relevant it's judicially noticeable it's it's influential it shows and supports the case that's the hard part so that's going to take uh some some serious researcher to bring up all the cases on that and decide well here's other cases on this high profile case that are relevant where this happened before where a judgment came out before your other judgment was issued and it and it showed that there was a bad actor and interfered with the case okay well how how does that how is that going to be brought in i don't know Okay, that's where that's why these these this legal team is you know from Rock Doctor Right Side is paid so much money because that's their where their expertise is going to come in. They're going to have to research all those cases and read all the facts and these other cases and see how some other case in that same court is is uh, has the similar facts that can be brought in and support it. And so that's where their 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 hourly rate uh, whatever they're being paid is worth every every penny. You know, because that's the real, the real skill and the magic to, to kind of, you know, combine those two together. But I'm just pointing this out, lasering, lasering in on it for people so they can kind of see and, uh, and hopefully making it entertainment at the same time. So, all right. Again, this is Gavin Mail reporting out from California. As soon as that judgment comes out, I'll definitely going to be uh, reading it and I'll be uh, doing a video on it. So right now we don't have any, anything. I'm just... Uh, I'm just p putting out some preliminary grounds and, uh, you know, glad uh, I, I thank you for all the comments, all the negative, positive, loving, hateful, trolling, whatever they were. I appreciate it. Thanks for getting the word out there. Be sure to be sure to subscribe on that last short that I put out there. So be sure to subscribe with the like button, share this freaking video, get the word out there so we can get this in front of uh, uh, in front of the council on the right side. And let's uh, let's go from here, man. I'll see you at the top.